All right, this is the unit one constructed response remediation video. Uh, our prompt in this unit arguments were presented as strong and effective if they used valid and sufficient evidence. Has valid and sufficient evidence been used in the speech? Equal pay is worth fighting for to make this argument effective explain why or why not. So first, in order to write about evidence, you need to know what evidence is. So evidence is a specific detail such as a fact or expert opinion that supports an opinion. Here's our text. There's a read aloud and uh, it is uh, ex an excerpt from a speech called Why Equal Pay is Worth Fighting For by Senator Elizabeth Warren. This was, the speech was given on April 17th, 2014. So you'll read through the speech, it's not very long, or the excerpt from the speech. And again, our prompt, in this unit, arguments were presented as strong and sorry, effective if they used valid and sufficient evidence. Has valid and sufficient evidence been used in the speech equal pay is worth fighting for to make this argument effective? Explain why or why not? So our directions, write your response to the prompt, Use examples or quotes from the text to support your response. Your response should be one complete paragraph, which is usually about five to seven sentences. So the first time you read the speech, you're going to read it as a surface read just to see what it sounds like, what it says, what it's all about, the main ideas. The second time you read the speech should be for a deeper dive, a closer read into the parts and pieces of the speech, looking at the argument and the parts of the argument, what is the speaker's viewpoint, what is the claim, what are the reasons, what is the evidence, is this effective or not, are there any problems? with the speech or the argument. So as you read the speech, you want to identify the speaker's viewpoint and claim and notice the reasons she supplies to support it. Look for evidence that is either valid or fallacious. Look for evidence that is either sufficient or lacking. So the second reading, the deeper, closer read of the speech, you're going to look for the viewpoint and claim, the reasons, and the evidence, okay? So is that evidence valid? If it's not, it's fallacious. Is that evidence sufficient? Is there enough or is it lacking? You wanna focus your response on explaining how the argument in the passage is or is not effective and explaining how the speaker did or did not use valid and sufficient evidence in her argument. Okay, so two things you're going to talk about in your paragraph. You're going to first explain how the argument in the passage is effective or is not effective. And then you're also going to explain how the speaker did or did not use valid and sufficient evidence in her argument. So you wanna focus your paragraph on these three tasks. 
Evaluate an argument's effectiveness. Evaluate the validity of an argument's evidence. And evaluate the sufficiency of an argument's evidence. So when you're looking at the argument on a whole, at a whole, as a whole, I guess, uh, as a whole argument, uh, is it effective or not? And why is it effective or not effective? What makes it effective or not effective? And then looking at the evidence that those facts, the data, the statistics, the expert opinions that are presented in the speech, are they valid? Are they sufficient? Is there enough? Okay. So some notes. You don't have to like the speaker or the topic. You don't have to agree with her politics or her claim. The task is to evaluate the argument presented. Is it effective? Did she give good and enough evidence to prove her point? You should show and explain how she did or did not do those things. Okay. Again, you don't have to like the speaker. You don't have to like the topic of the speech. And you don't have to agree with her politics and you don't have to agree with her claim. Okay. That is not what we're focusing on here for this CR. Again, the task is to evaluate the argument presented. Is it effective? If it is, you'll show and explain how it is effective. If it isn't, you'll show and explain how it is not effective. Did she give good and enough evidence to prove her point? If she did give good and enough evidence to prove her point, you can, you'll can you show and explain how she did do those things. If she did not give good and enough evidence to prove her point, then you'll show and explain how she did not do those things. So there is no right or wrong answer here. I am looking for, did you evaluate this argument and give examples or quotes from the text to support your response? Again, there's no right or wrong answer here. I am looking for, did you evaluate this argument and give, good exa uh, give examples or quotes from the text to support your response? Now, in case you need to review the Unit 1 content vocabulary, uh, we have the, I have the list here. Uh, argument, claim, fallacious reasoning, relevant, credible, charge language, viewpoint, evidence, reason, sufficient, critical listening, hypophora, parallel structure, ethos, pathos, and logos. So review. That content vocabulary list if you need to. You can pause this video if you need more time to do that. Okay, so now that you uh, know exactly what all those words mean. Now you're ready to complete your sentences for your paragraph. Here's the constructed response graphic organizer. We have four types of sentences, intro sentences, textual support, explanation sentences, and conclusion sentences. And then we have some sentence starters for you to use if you'd like to. So our introduction sentences state the topic of the prompt and answer the questions. This should be in your own words. 
then you're going to give textual support, provide evidence with one or two quotes from the story or article, put quotation marks around all text from the story or article. An example of evidence that supports my answer is the text says with quotes, the author states with quotes, the passage explains with quotes. Explanation sentences explain how your textual support relates to your answer and describe your answer in more detail. This should be in your own words. This evidence supports my answer because it shows. This shows. This is because. This means. And our conclusion sentences give a summary of your answers, evidence, and explanations. You can also give a final thought about the topic of the prompt. This should be in your own words. In conclusion, overall, ultimately, to summarize. So again, use the Constructed Response Graphic Organizer to help you form your sentences and complete your paragraph. Now, I also want to look at the Constructed Response or CR checklist and make sure that you are going through this checklist and, and um, doing everything on here that you need to do for planning, drafting, revising, proofreading and editing, and publishing. So planning. The question or prompt has been read. The passage is reviewed at least twice using close reading strategies. An answer for the question or prompt is located or inferred. Textual evidence is found and noted. Drafting. The question or prompt topic is mentioned in the opening sentence. The answer to the question is correct. The textual evidence is direct quotes or examples from the passage. Quotation marks are used to show what text is from the passage. The textual evidence relates to the question or prompt and provides support for the answer. An explanation is given to provide more details to the answer or describe how the textual evidence pro proves the given answer. The paragraph includes a concluding sentence. Revising. The written response is a complete analysis, not a summary of the passage. Transitions are used between quotes and ideas. The response is written from an objective third person point of view. Proofreading and editing. All thoughts are written in complete sentences and organized into paragraph form. Writing mechanics have been proofread and edited. There are few to no mistakes in grammar, spelling, punctuation, and capitalization. For publishing, the correct document is uploaded in the correct assignment folder in the correct online course or the written paragraph is submitted into the correct test in the Lincoln program. The assignment is turned in on time by the due date. And after the assignment is graded, feedback is read, and work is fixed and resubmitted if needed. So if you are ready, to uh, fix and resubmit your uh, constructed response for unit one. And you can complete that unit one CR retake assignment in the online course.